Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Praveen Kumar Sriram. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Author, currently working as a Solutions Architect on Azure. In our last video, we have learned how to create a logic gap using Bicep. And in this video, we are going to learn the rest of the other components creation using Bicep. As you can see here, the first step is creation of App Service Plan. And of course, storage account, and then app insights, and finally, logic app. So, the way we connect logic app with storage account is via app settings. And same thing, even for app insights, the linking process will be done via app settings. So, in this video, we are going to learn creation of all the connected components along with app settings. Let's get started. App settings is also a resource. Under it's a child resource under websites. So you have to choose configs. Provide a name. App settings initially it will throw an error. It says some it complains there is some error, but the moment you set the parent, basically these are child resources. For every child resource, we need to specify the parent. Now the error is gone, and now we can start setting the app settings inside it inside the properties tab. So the first one is app kind. It's basically workflow app. I'm sorry, it's not equal to it's colon. Okay, and then there are other things that needs to be configured. App insights underscore instrumentation key. All these are kind of predefined configurations, predefined key names that you should configure. Okay, so now this is instrumentation key. Right, so now uh, we need to create app insights and then get the instrumentation key. So, definitely, there is a dependency. So, what we need to do is we need to invoke the module related to app insights. So, module app insights underscore module. So basically, logic app standard is a module for itself. Now, this logic app module is calling other three modules inside it for creating those resources. Okay, so let's create these three. Uh, I'm going to create parameters for app insights. So pass it here and for location we already have a parameter. So now this module would return the instrumentation key as an output. So we need to choose outputs dot instrumentation key. That's it. Now Logic app also depends on function app uh, runtime. So we have to specify functions underscore extension underscore version. It is basically function app runtime. So logic app depends on function app runtime. The latest runtime is four, four point something. So we can say approximately. And we also need to specify functions runtime there are different runtimes that are supported logic app we need to choose no it can be capital or small it is as well so once this is done we also need to configure the uh, connection string of storage account there is a predefined setting name website underscore 
content azure file connections it is nothing but the storage account connection string now the storage account connection string uh, is a string which contains the complete connection string so let's grab it from somewhere uh, in the storage account go to storage accounts any storage account because our logic cap storage is not yet created so maybe i'll pick the connection string one of the from one of the existing storage accounts let's go to access keys and click on show then copy any one of them now let me open notepad Place it here. So now I'm going to remove the items because this would change. These are kind of templates. Right? This is account storage account name, and this is key. These two must be replaced with the actual values. Now I've copied the template of the Action string. Let me make some room here. So any dynamic parameters that you want to replace in a string must be enclosed like this. Dollar curly brace open, curly brace close. Now in the middle we can have parameters. So now we don't have storage account created here. So let's invoke storage account module. So this is something that will create a storage account. So location is the location. And we are going to create a new storage account. So this module all will create a storage account. And once the storage account is created, we need to grab the storage account key. So that means this app setting is dependent on this storage module, right? And this app setting is dependent on logic app. So basically logic app depends on storage account as well as application insights modules. So it is a good practice to specify depends on, okay? So now we have replaced storage account name now similarly we need to get the key of the storage account again it's dynamic so we'll have to use this syntax this is this syntax is called as interpolation so now we need to get the storage account uh, keys right so now this storage account should not return the key because it's a sensitive information if the storage account is returning key as an output then that key is displayed in the portal so it's not a good practice to return strings so it makes sense to dynamically use it now how do we do that so let me quickly show you if a resource is not created in the same file then there is a syntax that we can use using resource block itself storage storage accounts and then here, instead of using equal to, we need to use existing. And then specify the name of the storage account. The storage account name is this. And that's it. So here, you can get the reference of a storage account. Storage account name dot list keys. So list keys returns us both the keys. Storage account has two keys. So list keys will return a keys array. And we want to refer the first key dot value. This is how we can refer the key one of this particular storage account. That's it. We're done. We're done with getting the connection string of the specific storage account that we wanted to use.
and finally we also need to create a file share logic app needs a file share as well and the name is website underscore content share so we need to specify a parameter file share the parameter is not there so we need to have a parameter for that So now we need to ensure that a file share is created inside storage account as well. Let's see if it has one. Open storage account. So here <coughs> we don't have the code that creates file share. So let's create a resource which can create a file share. A resource. File share. File shares are part of story accounts. To be more specific, file share and file services and shares. So this is the resource that we need to use in order to create file share within story account. Now the name is little tricky here. We need to specify story account name and then the file share name. Okay. There are different ways of creating file share names. One simplest one is dollar e storage account name. I can copy paste this and then slash. We need to specify default because file share itself is a sub service within Azure. So file shares will take this name. An actual file share that we wanted to create. Is something that we need to pass here. Param e file share. So this is the actual file share name. So this is the name that is given to our actual file share. So again, this parameter, dynamic parameter. So we need to enclose that in kind of syntax. So now this code, this module will create story account as well as file share. So now we need to pass a new parameter to story account because we just created this. It's P file share. That's it. So now we created story account plus file share. That's the same thing that we are using here in AppSetX. That's it. These are the settings that we need to do. Now let's save this. And let's execute the code. And one thing I missed is creation of app service plan. We created app inside story account, but I missed app service plan. So we need to create app service plan as well. I don't have a property for app service plan. So I'll just rename this to app service plan name. Let me copy this. Use it here. And P location. That's it. And here I should not have this as a parameter. Instead, ASP module dot outputs dot app service plan id is something that we should use okay so now let's run the program and of course uh, we need to provide the names either here or create a parameter file for now i'm going to give it here directly as you can see here i provided the names for the parameters and i also made one change here in app service plan in order to create logic app we cannot use the normal pricing tiers the sku must be one of the w s1 s2 or s3 so once we are done with all these changes i ran 
the bicep script and as you can see here all our resources are successfully created including the logic app so that's the responsibility of you know, a platform engineer from here the developers will start working on creating work i ran the code i have got some errors uh, regarding some missing keys finally i have added azure web job secret storage type as files and i also added azure web job storage which also points to the same connection string of storage account after these keys are created and i went to logic app standard and i don't see any errors and now you can deliver this to your developers and developers can now start on focusing uh, creation of the workflows that's it for today if you have any questions or if you face any challenges while executing the code please let me know in the comment section i will be helping you in fixing those errors thanks for watching have a good day i will see you in next video thank you